Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Lisa, and I'm here to share a repost from Miss Sophie. The title is Repent, Return, Obey. My daughter, write these words down. My children, why are you still in slumber? Have I not given enough words, dreams, and visions? Continuing to ignore the inevitable does not mean events will not occur. You can put your heads in the sand, but you cannot wish something away. The changes in this nation, America, will be great, will be devastating, and as all gets stripped away layer by layer, then will you wake up? You will wake up when your pantries are empty and you are not able to survive. You cannot pray away my chastisement on a disobedient people. You cannot reject me and expect blessings. I did bless you, children. Did you even notice? No, you are too busy believing you can save the planet, that you are able to do it on your own with the help of your fellow man, but without me in the equation. I am as the sustainer of life. I am the only one who saves. I am was the power behind this once great nation. Civil unrest is coming to America, just like you have seen happening in other nations. 2020 will be a year to remember, for nothing will be as it once was. Peace What peace? There is coming a time of false peace. How many of you will fall asleep again then? You must be vigilant at all times. Your idol Trump does not have much time left. He will be removed in my timing. The people's choice, Obama, will enter in and millions will fall for his false peace propositions how he is there to make all things better for all concerned. How many of you will see through the facade of this wolf in sheep's clothing, this soon-to-be the prophesied son of perdition? I am the God many of you don't believe in. I heal nations. I destroy nations. I heal. I destroy. I give. I take away. I raise up kings. I take kings down. I decree and declare, and it is done. Foolish children who have li- who live in unbelief of who I am and what I am capable of doing. Is anything too hard for me? I, the one who created the heavens and the earth, It is I who created all that you have enjoyed and taken for granted for far too long. It is I who created you. You are my creation. It is I who loves you more than any mortal can. It is I that has showed you how to follow me. Without my commandments, you would not even have known what sin is. As my son walked, you should walk. Sin is transgression of my law. Sin is what condemns a man. I do not condemn you. The way you live, your words, your thoughts, your deeds condemn you. Living in sin only brings death, children. I offer salvation, but so many are choosing death instead. I offer living water yet you drink from dirty cisterns. I offer my peace, which surpasses all understanding, yet you choose hatred, unforgiveness, contentions, slander, gossip, division, and all else that goes against my ways. I offer you love, yet you love spouse, children, animals, and possessions more than me. I gave you free will to choose, and you are willing to throw away an eternity of love 
peace, happiness, and joy, a restoration of all your losses you see now in your current lives. Children, if you follow the ways of the world, you are following Satan's ways. Do you think he cares about your soul? Do you think he will offer you bliss in eternity? Do you simply refuse to believe he exists? There is a heaven. There is a hell. One chooses where they want to spend eternity. There are so many of you yet to be found. Yes, you are still truly lost. If repentance was a one-time event, then all would be coming to my kingdom. Are all going to make it? No, children, come out from under this misconception. I desire none to perish, but you choose the broad road or the narrow road. Broad road is lovely to most, but at the end it is horrifying, for when you die and see where it took you, the cries and tears will never end. Sadly, it is too late then, and once in hell, you will never get out. Eternity means eternity. Check yourselves. Re-examine your hearts. Repent in earnest, and I will forgive. Do this each day, and I will cleanse you. My heart is for you not against you, but it is you who continually fight in the spirit with me. Let it go. If you die tomorrow in sin, that is it. You will go to the hell that you think does not exist. I am loving, kind, compassionate, slow to anger, and a lover of souls. Are you children willing to do this and return to me? I call. I call. I call. Church of Laodicea, you need to repent and come away from all the false teachings. Run from these churches, your places of worship. Run to me. I am not a building. I am not in most of your false places of worship. I am is all about father to son, father to daughter. Remember, I loved you from the beginning of time. I am your healer, your provider, the closest friend man can have if you repent, return, and obey my commands. It is my way. You must all return to my ways. This is the only way. Seek me and you will find me. Open your heart to me and I will open mine to you. Lay it down at my feet, children. Lay it down. Let me wash over you. Let me in. Make me your first love. Let go of your idols. Let go, let go, let go. Follow me and you will join me in my kingdom. I love you so very much. You cannot contend with me, so stop trying to. My army is rising and all will see my glory displayed. All will know I am that I am. I am alive. Even though the darkest times come, my display of greatness and goodness shall be seen. This is to give all a final chance to repent and return to me. This is all for now, child. And that is the end of this message. I pray you all have a beautiful day in the Lord. God bless each and every one of you. And if you do not know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, please call on him right now. Ask him into your heart. Ask him to forgive you of all your sins. And from then on, have a relationship with him.
and see for yourself just how much he loves you. You all have a great day and I will see you either next video or in the air. Bye-bye.